everyone, welcome back. It's me, Sid, with time for another quick tutorial in Ars Magica, and do you like my glasses? They, they look a bit day men and average, if I'm being truthful. Um, now, I am not in my uh, tutorial world for this particular one, because I found a conflict between flickers, well not a conflict, uh, a problem with the flickers in my Mage Let's Play mod pack, uh, in that they don't spawn. You just can't get the damn things. So anyway, the tutorial today is all about the flickers. Uh, what are flickers, you ask? Well, I'll show you what a flicker is. If I can find it, there we go. That's a flicker. Isn't he adorable? Flickers are the smallest elementals in Ars Magica, and they're incredibly shy, and they don't like people. Now, the only way you can ever approach a flicker is if you were wearing an item which is imbued with a flicker law. Um, otherwise, you ain't approaching them. So, how do you get flickers? Well, flickers originally spawned naturally, but um, they had a runaway spawning problem. Let me just turn the music off. Um, so what's happened is Mithrian has uh, added this. This is a flicker lore block to craft that. And I don't know why you're in there. Let's get that. It doesn't need to be there. Um, to craft that, you need some stone bricks of any variety, chiseled, mossy, cracked, uh, a chimerite, uh, iron, and a vitrium dust. And that will give you one of these guys. Now, these do require power. I've just got an obelisk hooked into that. And also to use this, you're going to need to make a flicker jar, an empty flicker jar. And that is just magic wall, two nuggets and some panes of glass. And basically you activate that, you wait, oh, there goes a flicker, we fly after it. Well, you presumably, where's he gone? Do this, oh God, come here. Gotcha. You would not do this in the open air, you would do this in a contained space because these th these little guys fly off. So that's an air flicker. Now what you'll find is the different flickers spawn in their different biomes. Let me just head back into, where are we, mobs, or flickers. So you've got the various ones, uh, that is not implemented, and live flickers tells you all about them, where you can find them with a small chance, yada yada. Ice flickers, frozen areas, um, earth flickers, anywhere but before underground. Water flickers found in areas of predominantly water, yada yada, and so on and so forth. Now, you're going to want these flickers because you use these to craft these, and these are the replacements for sigils. Um, so the first thing you are going to need to use these replacement for, replacements for sigils is this, which is a flicker habitat. And that is a Carmelite block, four iron and four vitrium dust makes a flicker habitat. So let's have a look at some of the items you can make with these flicker. If we can find the relevant section, flicker focuses as they are now called. So as before, you've got things like interdiction, containment, packed earth, flat earth, so that these two are for leveling the ground progeny and butchery which is for breeding and killing animals lunatized will come into light will come into feldo gentle rains and natured bounty and these pretty much mirror most of the sigils so let's start here in here we've got two sigils we've got this one here which is the gentle rains and as you can see it's making it rain, which is allowing this area to be hydrated without water source blocks. If you can hear the dog barking like an idiot outside, I apologize. Up here, we've got the nature's bounty f uh, f focus. And if we just look on those, you can see that's uh, two nature, of, uh, nature of life and a water flicker jar, life essence and various bits and pieces. Um, that does require power, so I've got... Um, an obelisk linked to that and that basically makes these things grow better they're pretty much exactly the same as the old sigils did prodigy and butchery over here well this is your progeny uh, that's nearly 
in fact it is empty again um, but basically that will try and breed any animals in the middle and this one here when the animal grows up it will kill it <laughs> doesn't pick the drops up doesn't do anything fancy it just kills it outright so over here we've got a fun one uh, this is again this is pretty much a neat a direct copy of uh, the existing one. Let's just uh, encourage one of these to grow. Come on, grow for me. In here you have the felled oak. And again, it will work without power this one, but it works faster with power. And eventually, oops, sorry, ignore that. <laughs> he says eventually, let me just go and uh, pick this up again. Oh, there you go. It's felled the oak. And that's what that does. Nothing overly exciting there. Now over here is an interesting one. This is the, I need a spawn egg of something. Let's have a cow. So in here is a containment focus. And I've got that being powered by this light nexus, which means that doesn't work at night. But for this demonstration, it is absolutely mm. fine. Let me, come on then. Come on, you want that, don't you? You want that, don't you? Oh, what's the matter? Can't you get to me? This basically puts a magical wall around the flicker, uh, flicker focus, and he... Oh, has that run out of juice? No? no. Maybe it didn't like... Ah, it's because it was on a separate level. So you do have to be flat on that. But that basically no. is a containment field. No. Now, the reverse of that is this one the interdiction and that basically does the same but keeps mobs out uh, let's just run over here quickly uh, now this particular one this is not powered but it's the lunar tides and what this will do is when given power any moonstone meteors that would have fall within 128 radius of this focus will be dragged in to within eight blocks so you basically get all your moonstones being brought to you. This one here, this is a light focus, um, and if we do a time set 13,000, yeah, I've got power, haven't you? Come on, then. You can see now it's the flickers are running around, starting to light up a 16 block radius. This is not very fast, I will warn you. So, uh Perhaps a little bit of work like that is needed on this one. I think there are ways to improve the speed of some of these. Um, oh, where are we? If we go, oops, cancel, no, I'm back, back, it is the flicker habitat. Flicker join the habitat, and it will make the and it will serve to modify the functionality of the adjacent habitats with a flicker. So you've got your flicker jars. Growing plants, sorting items, fishing. I haven't come across that one. <laughs> um, thing. So see the flicker focus entries for how they can be modified. It says it's pretty um, new and revolutionary in some respects now. If you were looking at the light, uh, it kind of suggests that there isn't anything we can do to expand that, but that is a light one anyway. It may be possible time set date to speed that up, but anyway, that is the light one. It just basically lights the area up. Now. The last one, and I think the bit that's most exciting, as this didn't exist in sigils before, is this, the item transport. So let me go over here, take those out of there, put them into here, and they've gone. Over here, the tiny little elementals have moved them from one chest to another, and that has been accomplished through the use of these, these crystals. So I've used an import and an export crystal for this one. Um, there are 
some other ones that like mimic export crystal, um, set export crystal, regulate, import crystal, and bidirectional crystals, which are all craftable. These are pretty cheap, they're just Blue Topaz, finally a use for all of that. Uh, and similarly for those. And what you would do is say, for example, let me just bop those off. So I say that this is my import crystal. Oops. So we pop an import crystal on there, we take an export crystal, and we stick one on there. We take our thing, if we shift click on the actual flicker habitat, it will remember that. We can click on that, click on that, and we should see it's bringing them over. So we're just pairing these all up. It does. I'm not sure whether they require power, and um, they probably work faster if they knew, need power. They don't seem to be taking any, however. Let me just double check. Uh, da -da. Flickers contain movement, blah, blah, blah. Uh, oh, you can increase the power, increases the number of items flickers inside can move. Lightning flickers will increase the speed. So you can put additional habitats in here. So, for example, if I were to go here and here uh, and go and get myself, uh, where's the flicker jars? I needed a lightning and what was the other one? No. Uh, da -da. Arcane, that was it. Arcane, where are you? arcane flicker jar. So again we can stick a lightning flicker in there, we can stick a arcane in there. Now you can see they're pointing in to indicate that they are contributing to that. So let's take our 16 there and they've pretty much gone straight over. Now the, oh, if I just do that as uh, leave that where it was, pair that up. Now the Set export crystal. If we pop that on there, we can go in there and we can say, I only want to export oak. Um, and I believe, no, done something wrong there. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. We probably need to pair that into the loop and take you off, perhaps. Yep, you'll see that's working now. It's only exported the oak and left the um, oak saplings there. So these are potentially quite useful. These are ours magic pipes, if you like. Um, I'm not sure what the maximum range is, it's probably not huge, but if you're wanting a sorting system, all of these crystals, and these obviously will do more uh, options as well, will do all of that functionality for you. Anyway, hopefully this has been a little bit useful to you. Um, this has probably, this cow has probably escaped. Yes, it has, because here's the boundary there. I love the uh, visuals on this. Uh, and it escaped because I was using a light crystal at the top there, which obviously powered down at the night. So hopefully this has been a little bit useful. Um, this is pretty much the replacement of the sigil system we've got. Oh, the other two to mention while I'm here is Packed Earth and Flatlands. Those are the old equivalent to the old sigils. So one will um, build the earth up, the other one will carve it down. Simple as that, really. And uh, Anyway, thanks for watching guys, and bye for now.